Hello everyone. Good evening. It's 9.13 p.m. my time here in Iowa. And uh, this will be my second video of the day. Well, a lot of news. On that January 6th, where Trump got blamed for that riot, $250 million raised. Subpoenas being hold out on this out on the well now I can't read it oh the fifth the 250 million dollars raised uh, subpoenas are being held uh, handed out for this uh for lying to the people where the money raised was going. They're saying that Trump frauded his supporters out of $250 million. And they're trying to find out, you know, where the money is. Where'd it go? So they had to come up with something else, and you'll find out why later. DOJ investigation... Uh, is wondering where the money is and who else is involved. Trump should be worried now. Yeah, if this should come to be, you know, and if he's responsible, like I've always said, if he's guilty, you know, you always pay when you're guilty, one way or another. Oh my goodness. And will the supporters, if this is true, uh, get their money back? Doubt it. No. My goodness. California is losing people. They are moving out. California likes to kind of pair up themselves to Texas, I guess. But there is more to it. It seems Ted Cruz has failed to troll California. Their grid looks like a roller coaster. Up and down, up and down. It's just, it's weak. I don't know how they expect that it's going to keep carrying on. I hope it does, but boy, oh boy, oh boy. The grid didn't hold up last year. It failed in the winter. People had no utilities. Thousands of people. No heat. No way to cook. No hot water. Cruz went on vacation last winter. I suppose you know he's entitled to that. But when the grid, grid failed in the winter, there was a lot of deaths. People froze to death because there was no heat for days. Wow. People was without power for a lengthy time, days and nights, in that winter. And Cruz came back, yes, when he found out he came back from vacation, where he had been in the basking in the warm, warm sun, you know, enjoying himself. But he was shamed and very despondent over the situation. Well, I would think so. But you know, these people can go on vacation <laughs> anytime they want to, you know, and they don't think about what might happen while they're gone. You know, they don't give it a thought because why should they? They're rich. They can do what the hell they please whenever they please. Okay, we all know that, don't we? Now, do you feel you're being held hostage? 
over getting help with a stimulus check? This is a good point. It's something to think about, but I think most of us already had the feeling, you know, It leads to who should you vote for? Is it laying in front of you that if we give you a stimulus check, you vote for us? Because we're going to hold out as long as we can without helping you till we know that you're going to vote for us. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, it just gets worse. All right. The way Americans have been treated that has needed help for so long. In other words, you're going to get bribed. I wouldn't doubt it. You know, it, it don't surprise me. Look at the way things have been going anyway. We're not stupid. You know? So if they want to give us help, we got to pat them on the back. Yes. You want to give them a hug too? <laughs> it's not funny, but I can't help it. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. If that money means that much to the government, <laughs> let them keep it. You know? Mm, I get so disgusted. Well, let's see. Yeah, if we might get a $2,000 stimulus that we were being held off to lean their way. It came across my mind long ago. I just said that. Well, tonight someone else is getting the same thought. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it ain't just me. There's millions of us that have had the same thought. And my heart goes out to each and every one of you. I know how you feel. Believe me. Now, a U.S. drone targeted by Iranians released footage U.S. Navy prevented an Iranian ship from capturing U.S. maritime drone in Persian Gulf being disabled as a flagrant unwarranted incident. U.S. Naval Forces Central Commander as U.S. forces were going through international waters, was moving through international waters. Excuse me, I can't read my writing. <laughs> I, I did get my printer fixed. I forgot to tell you all that about three, three videos ago. I finally, I was having so much trouble just getting the driver uh, loaded. For my Canon printer. I finally got it done. <laughs> oh boy. But um, then I didn't have no ink. <laughs> so I'm waiting on ink. Yes. But I did get my printer fixed. And I can't wait to get it working. Let me tell you. My hands cramp so bad. Because I've wrote so many pages of notes. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little rough. But anyway. Okay. We're moving through international waters. Monday night. They spotted an Iranian IRGC uh, Navy support ship, the Shahid Bazar, B A Z I A R. And the first name is S H A H I D. Shahid Bazar, 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 <laughs> Bazar. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me. I'm tired. I've been up since 2.30 yesterday morning. Or this morning, I mean. Yeah, 2.30 a.m. I didn't get a nap in or nothing. And, oh, I, I'm about had it. 
uh, towing a um, sail drone explorer unmanned surface vessel. Whatever that is. IRGC Navy ship attached a line to the drone. U.S. forces communicated directly with the ship demanding that ship was uh, with the Navy ship telling the Navy ship we want our drone back now. Ooh. Well, what was it doing? You know, how did our Navy um, get a hold of it? They were patrolling the international waters then. That's common sense. I'm trying to make common sense out of all this anyway. Hang in there, folks. It gets better. Okay. <clears throat> Last Wednesday, Pope Francis called for concrete steps to bring the war in Ukraine to an end. Bless his heart. To advert the risk of a very bad disaster. Huh? Can believe that too. Can believe that too. Alrighty. Poll shows DeSantis is beating Trump in the polls. A recent YouGov dot and I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> poll, poll around. And that is uh, hypothetical is what it is. A three-way race between Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and Ron DeSantis. Joe Biden would win. Ooh. Why would you, Gov. Dot, poll something so lucrious? Well, I'm kind of wondering the same thing. Ludicrous. That's how it's pronounced. Ludicrous. I don't pronounce words very well either. Have you noticed that? Oh. If Republicans divided between Trump and DeSantis, clearing the way for Biden to come out on top. Sure. Among the registered voters, 44% chose Biden, while... 23% chose De DeSantis. DeSantis. And 18% chose the high hypothetical third party spoiler, spoiler Trump. Uh, YouGov Dot asked rep uh, respondents about two separate head-to-head -head matchups how it would come out i suppose in the match up between biden and desantis biden came out on top 43 percent to 40 percent wow close huh three points <clears throat> okay president election is over two years away and elections politics in election politics two years is an eternity boy you can say that again now isn't that the truth that's the truth right there at this point polling presidential matchups before the midterms elections are about as useless as blank on a bowl I ain't gonna say that word. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. You know what it is. You say <laughs> whatever. Okay. Sam Harris. And I didn't get all of this. I just caught a couple sentences of it. But uh, Sam Harris admits there were rats preventing from voting Trump to a second term. I knew it. I said, watch when the rats come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, oh my God. 50 Trump supporters are being raided now by the FBI. Yeah, now they're going after Trump supporters. Who's setting all this mess up? 
What are they looking for now? Don't they have enough on him? I mean, now he's fraudulated his his uh, people that voted for him, his supporters, and, and millions of dollars is gone now, and blah, 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 blah. I mean, you know, if it's true, it's true. I'm not going to say nothing. You know, I, no words. But boy, I'll tell you, <clears throat> it just keeps getting goofy. China is losing the battle for the future of technology. Its desperation could make Beijing even more dangerous. Mm. That's, that's, yeah, that could be very highly, highly could be. As Dems destroy the energy grid, Biden's energy, C-Z-A-R, Caesar, something or rather, uh, has a bulletproof plan. Could make it ten times worse. Why are they making plans to make things worse? Why can't they make plans to make things better? It's always worse. People that come up with this crap. <laughs> oh, I wasn't so tired I'd make me a pot of coffee and just think all this over. <laughs> Not really. Oh, my God. Biden enraged at CNN not being fully obedient. Okay. About Biden's speech on September 1st in front of Independence Hall. The pres... The pres... Present... Presenter. Presenter. The presenter for CNN, Brianna Keeler, K E I L E R, Kyler, or Keeler, expressed her disapproval of the present presence of two Marines sitting in the backdrop while President Biden was speaking. She stated that the military wasn't supposed to be involved in the politi in politics and their presence at a political address would be inappropriate. <clears throat> Andrew Bates, the deputy press secretary for the White House, responded to her remark by assessing the speech in question was not political. <clears throat> Honor our service, men and women, lady. That's all I got to say. And she should lose her job. That's my words. That, that was disrespectful. Very, oh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. My thoughts only. Usually I have no words, but I do have thoughts. Mm -mm -mm. Biden orders U.S. dollar replaced with a trackable spyware version. Uh, what's he going to, what's he going to, uh, track. He's trying to down the U.S. dollar. He's with China on that one. He's trying to break the U.S. dollar. So what's he going to track? <laughs> are we supposed to keep our pennies and our dimes and nickels and quarters? Or are they going to take them away from us too? <laughs> oh my, maybe that's what they're going to track is our silver and our coins. Don't ask me. I have no idea. But anyway, spyware version. Your life savings and freedom are at immediate risk. Well, yeah, I can see that. That's been going on for a while now. You know what? Biden and China, 
like I said before on the other one, I, I don't know what's going on there. Isn't that unusual to you? Don't you think that's unusual? <clears throat> Whatever. All right. Well, here's the best part. It was really Joe Biden who granted the FBI access to the documents for which the FBI raided Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence last month. I already knew that. I bet most of you did too, didn't you? There was a rat behind it. A big one. Yep. Oh, my God. And the information has been verified officially in court documents on Monday. So, Biden must have fessed up, I guess. And, he lied. I remember listening to his speeches, and he was asked, did he have any idea about the raid on Trump. Oh, no. No, I, uh, I don't know nothing about it. I bet you all seen the same speech. He lied, didn't he? So was that no more? You know, what more has he lied about? Who's he in cahoots with? China wants to take over America. Biden don't want Trump as president. He wants to whistle his way, whistle, whistle, is that a word? Oh God, I don't know. But he wants to worm his way into another two years of breaking us down. Abolishing the American dollar. I don't know. I don't know. I have no words. I have no words. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Give us peace. Amen. Okay, everybody. Please uh, comment, subscribe, leave a like. I appreciate it. Love you all. Till the next time, I'll see what I can come up with. Good night.